What I wanted to show you was my um, special Maryland um, colorways. And I did it really different this year. Sometimes I just come up with like one, one skein, um, but I've been really interested in working with collections this year. So like I have my viral collection or I have my spring collection. And so it's, you know, many yarns that um, go together with a theme. So I was trying to figure out what do I want to do for a theme this year? And I really just stuck on like, I kept thinking earth, wind and fire, but I didn't want to be, you know, I don't want to have that music playing in the background in my head, you know, no, no earworms, please. So I thought five elements, the five elements. So earth, air, water, land, and space. So I have made, um, skeins that go into each of these categories. Some categories have more than one and some only have one so far. Um, and I intend to, you know, flesh out this collection throughout the year. I'll probably still have these going on and being added to these through, through Rhinebeck for sure. And maybe even beyond because there's, there's so much that you can do with it. So for the earth, um, this is the colorway Gaia, who was the Greek goddess of and protector of the earth. So this is a, like a lovely, brilliant um, green, blue, and purple. This is probably my favorite, my favorite three colors to put together, blue, green, and purple. So this one is Gaia. And most of these, except for one colorway, these are all my Cori Sock fingering weight. So this is a Coriadale yarn, uh, Superwash Coriadale with nylon yarn, fingering weight, 430 yards per skein, 28 bucks. For air or wind, um, this one is a little bit harder, right? Because you can't see wind really. Um, you can only see the effects of wind. And somebody, Kathy, I think, gave me a really good idea about um, what do we associate with air and water, no, sorry, air and wind is um, birds, right? So I'll probably add something like that. This is my first. Um, this was, um, and I'm calling this storm gathering. And this was really, I was thinking in my head about, you know, wind and what, you know, how we associate wind. And I was thinking about all of those photographs, many of which I have taken where you have you have the white clouds and you have the darker clouds and the storm is gathering and the wind, you can see them moving across the sky. And this also reminds me a lot of the way that um, clouds are portrayed in Chinese, um, Chinese artwork where they have those neat kind of circular clouds. Yeah. So this is called storm gathering. For fire, I immediately went to lava first. And I think because, you know, this past year we've had so many uh, eruptions, right? And um, I was inspired not only because we've had so many, but because when I've been on the big island of Hawaii a couple of times, we always go to Kilauea. And um, if you go there at night, you have the blackness of, the, of night. And then the lava itself are, is red and orange. And, and then you have the white of the smoke. Anyway, here is lava. So this has a couple of different reds in here, red is oranges, some burgundy and some black. And this is the one that I have so far that is on the sparkly colorway, I mean, uh, sparkly base. And that is Superwash Merino and Lurex, which is the silver sparkle in there. Again, $28. This one is 400 yards per skein. And things die differently when you have different bases. So here is lava on the Cori sock. So you can see it's not quite as shiny. I'll put them both together so you can see the difference. Not, not quite as shiny and not quite as saturated in the Cori sock lava. This one I do not have up on the website yet. Um, and this one is going to be called, uh, uh, a, a, uh, uh, 
And if you are, if you're a crossword puzzle buff, you know what this is. Um, so a'a uh -uh is a type of lava. And it is the type of lava that's really crinkly. Um, and I thought that really um, matched. So this is, even though this is cooled lava, I'm still gonna put it under the fire colorway because it was born of fire. So, ah, uh -uh. and they look smashing together. Then we have water and with water, this is, um, uh, the first one I was inspired by was, you know, those sulfur pools at Yellowstone. And they, so they have, you have this pool of water and there's some um, turquoises and some blues. And then around the edge, you have the living, these living algae um, and bacteria that can stand these really hot temperatures, like nearly boiling water or it is boiling water. And those have a like a green and orange color. So this is called um, Yellowstone Pool. So this is the water um, element, Yellowstone Pool. I love this one. Then this one is a lot more um, soft, I would say. And this one was inspired by the Givarni Gardens, the um, lily pond. And I have like some purples for the lilies. And so Sandy asks, are the new colorways on all of your bases? Um, at this point, I just have them in the bases that I currently have because I have not gotten to dye these up in the Chinook, and I think they're gonna look different in Chinook. But yes, they will be available. And like I said, this is gonna be, this. Um, the five elements are gonna go on for a while. And so that was water. And the last one is space. So here's space. And this one was inspired by um, Nebula. It's called Nebula and inspired by those great pictures from the Hubble Space, uh, Space Telescope that show all those, those stars and the explosions that are happening within those nebulas. Yeah, Sandy says she's loving them all. Yes, so do I, they're cool. So those are my special ones for Maryland Sheep and Wool, the five elements.